Hey everybody, Matt from Redpaw here. So as I've started to grow the business and bought more tools and just kind of collected them, I've been trying to figure out the best way to organize your tools. And I think I've figured it out, at least for some tools. So all the metal-based tools bond great to magnets. So this is the magnetic tape that I've been using. It's real simple. You just cut it to length and stick it onto whatever surface. And then the metallic side here will pretty much allow you to stick most metal tools on it. So looking at this first tool organizer, you can see that I've kind of laid out all of my seldom used items. So like all my screwdrivers and thread ripper and lighter, hole punch, chalk pencil, small screwdriver, uh, as well as a small ruler. The only one I have that'll click onto the magnets and then some tweezers. And I found that this really helps me with organizing and seeing what tools I have available in this part of the workshop. So I have one really big desk and this sits right next to my computer, the Singer Heavy Duty and kind of just like the task table. And having all this stuff right here in visible sight is really helpful for me when I know I need to grab something and it's just right there. So someone in our neighborhood was throwing away this I think it's awesome bamboo split tray thing. I think it's for food or something, but it's, it was free and I decided to kind of tear it apart and turn it into tool organizers. And I've actually used other portions of it too. Um, so this one is for my laptop. I have that onto a tray and then I'll take the keyboard and mouse pad off and then use my monitor and kind of keep it right here. But so these little trays have made a really great addition to the shop because it allows me to stick the magnets on here and organize my metal tools. And then the stuff that won't necessarily fit will just go down below. And it's kind of a great grab all because I can just kind of throw shit in here and, and it just kind of catches it. And so this is kind of the seldom used portion um, near the task table and the sewing machine. So that's how all these tools get used. And then over here, I've got my more like cutting focus things and things I use a little more often. Um, this is actually totally reachable from the sewing machine table as you sit down. This is basically the prep table for when I'm cutting and just kind of preparing materials. So this is kind of the more used box and this is even more full of junk, but it's got all my measuring stuff. It's got everything that I use for cutting, marking, etc., etc. And I've even utilized the magnet strips here. I think this is actually a pre-cut magnet strip, so different than the tape. And it's a little bit stronger, it's a little thicker, so that actually allows me to hang my scissors like this. So whenever I need them, I just take them off like that, put them back on. And I found this to be a really, really nice way to organize your tools. It's kind of saved me a lot of time and, and it just gives me a good place to put everything. Here's another little spot that I stick magnetic tape, which is on the other side of that. And this is basically touching my sewing machine table on the Juki. So it just allows me to easily pull off these scissors and just put them back whenever I need to. And they're within an arm's reach and it's just a really great spot to have them. When you need a spot for an item like tweezers that you're gonna use pretty often to feed the fabric, et cetera, et cetera, but you kind of need it out of the way for your sewing project, get these little rare earth magnet rocks or whatever. These used to be sold in amusement parks as a kid. And when I started moving uh, to Colorado, I just kind of found these amongst old junk. And it turns out that these are so perfect for your little tools because tweezers, the all metal kind, will just you just throw them right onto the rock and it's the best place to stash them because you're gonna need them often enough that it is definitely worth having a little spot in the machine. I think that you can use the tape here as well, but these little rocks for some reason are even more strength. So I recommend these and the best part about them is on the machine because it's all metal, you can just move it around wherever you want. Now I've also got another one down here. And so these are my new thread snips. These are the ones I use most often now and also my chalk pencil. What I'll do is I'll push it up against the machine like this and then constantly keep a small little chalk pencil right there on that. And then when I'm done snipping the thread, I'll just throw this, slide it on the table and the blades catch right onto the rock. I've even done this over here at the Bartek machine. So in order to change the width and length for a Bartek, I have to use a wrench manually, basically 
this has to be opened up and then just forcefully opened and pushed over. So put this wrench right here with one of these rocks and it's perfect because it's used often enough, but when you're not using it, it is completely out of the way and it's easy to put back in its spot. I feel like I've just got to demo this thing. I mean, look at this beast of a machine. It's, it's really cool and I figure let's just slap a bar tech and some scrap fabric, some scrap Dyneema fabric and uh, just show you how this thing operates. So first and foremost, you've got to place uh, the fabric under the foot and then check this out. So yeah, those are a lot of the uses that I found is really nice for having this magnetic tape and it really is simple and it's, it's pretty cheap. So uh, if you're looking for a really modest upgrade to your workstation, I think that this could definitely do good service. I think it'll let you find your tools a little easier. And when stuff has a home, when it has a place that you just regularly put it back at, you're more likely to find it there. So that's kind of the main purpose of this tape for me. And I found it to be really useful. So I use this magnetic tape for organizing my sewing tools, obviously but I think that this is broadly applicable to any maker. And I think it's a really useful way to organize your tools and kind of visualize everything. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to check out the magnetic tape that is cut to size and possibly even the magnet rocks, which I'll try to find a link for, check in the description for a couple Amazon affiliate links. It costs you nothing to click the links or purchase anything from it but I get a small kickback for, from Amazon for referring you. So if you could do that, it really helps out the channel and encourages me to share these little tips that I've learned with all of you guys. Thanks.